Good morning, everyone. So, today we're going to talk about a topic that... Well, this one is not for me. This one is for you. Well, all my videos are for you. But this, is what, this one is more for you than it is for me. We're going to talk about my favorite programming languages for learning to become a programmer fast. So, let's get into it. Now, I'm going to raise my finger and I'm going to tell you this. If you are the sort of person that is looking for instant gratification, in other words, virtually 99% of the modern world, because we live in a time where instant gratification is the most important thing. Fast is almost a hard requirement for everybody. And most people have the attention span of an amoeba. If you are that sort of person and this title or this topic that I'm talking about now is very feels very attractive to you, I think that you really should qu question whether or not you have what it takes to be a programmer because programming is not instant gratification. In order to, for you to get any good at it, or it depends on you what you're looking for, I suppose, but at least from my experience, when you are a software developer, you need to be able to concentrate. You need to have patience and you need to be structured, methodical, all these other different things. I could make an entire list of things that I think are required in order to do good software development virtually. However, I also understand that the time it takes, like the ramping up period, for, especially for some languages, is very very high and I can understand I remember myself how how it was when I started where I was in in this mindset that I, I want it, it's like uh, it's like learning how to speak a language when you first start out you're so limited in what you can say and what you can express and you you kind of want to be able to do more than you can can at that given moment and you, of course you want to get good as quickly as possible so that you can do even cooler stuff and if that is the way that you think about these things and i think that that's great that is absolutely great so with that said let's talk about the languages number one if you want to be a software developer really 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 quickly and this is, uh, it's a, I would say that they are these two. I'm going to touch on both my, my two favorite languages for this. I would say that in first place would probably be PHP. I would say that that would be my favorite language for getting started very quickly. PHP is, it's the language of the web. It runs... I think a third of all the websites out there on the internet. It's extremely popular, extremely well established. There are tons of resources and you can get started within minutes virtually after. If you go out now and Google how to install PHP on your computer, you're probably going to get to XAMPP or WAMP or one of those very nice bootstrapping projects and you can probably run that installer in less time that it takes to finish this video for me and after that you can learn the basics of programming very easily there are tons and tons of resources to to be a web developer using PHP and I've at least when I learned it I found it to be a very nice starting point to get quick very quickly get up to speed I think that when I learned PHP it took me it could have taken maybe a week or something like that to learn all of the basic stuff and get my first basic web page running and then it took I could pretty much immediately start using using web web pages made in through PHP to you know, to pre provide a a web experience actually my first application in PHP was a riddle engine or a riddle challenge system basically where I, d I downloaded a bunch of riddles to a database and the user could visit my website and answer riddles basically and earn points that way. It was dirt simple, but I could do it with just a week or two of experience. So getting up to speed is very quick with PHP. In second place, I would, set, I would probably say 
is Ruby and Ruby on Rails. It is also one of the fastest way to get really productive really, really quickly. This environment is very well suited for beginner programmers who want to get productive very, very quickly. And I actually know a lot of programmers who start out in Ruby on Rails and they kind of stay there because it's so nice and you can get productive very, very quickly. I, I, I like honestly the difference between Ruby on Rails and PHP it's kind of subjective which one is the fastest it's so don't take me take what I'm saying with a little bit of pinch of salt you can pick either one it's just that I prefer PHP over Ruby and in terms of of when it comes to speed I, I don't know I felt that it was very natural with PHP and Ruby is yeah it's it's pretty much as 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 good when it comes to getting to a certain level of experience very very quickly or getting productive as quickly as possible. So these are my two favorite languages for this and in third place I'm going to put a JavaScript framework as well because that's all the rage these days because everybody wants to use JavaScript to build like the client side of, of our applications and Although I am a very big fan of React, and I know and Angular is probably one of the most popular frameworks out there as well. In terms of ease and how easy it is to get started and get going and make things work, I would say that React is an absolutely horrible choice. React is very, very complicated, in my opinion, to, to get started with. It's, it's not that easy. There's a lot of concepts going on there that that although the framework is very powerful when you know it, it's not that great as an absolute beginner. Same thing goes for Angular, in my opinion. Angular is also not, in my opinion, not that great to start with. Honestly, of all the JavaScript frameworks I've ever tried, that I think it, when it comes to just, just considering how easy it is to get started and get productive, I would probably say that Ember is my favorite. And that's me, this is my opinion, of course. Yours may differ, but Ember is very nice for just getting started and getting something up and running and, and making it work. So that's basically my list. And I once again raise my finger and I say, if you don't want to put in the work to become a software developer, a professional software developer, if you just really want to to be able to do some stuff, maybe as a hobby or just try things out to see, to to get as quickly as possible to a point where you can make web pages, then these, these technologies, I think, are going to be a very good fit for you. But if you want to be a professional software developer and, like, and really, really do this for a living, you have to have a different mindset than how can I as quickly as possible become, become a programmer? Because getting good at programming, it takes a little while to, to, to get there. But with these technologies, and you can of course get there with these technologies as well. I just want you to know that the focus should be to get good as opposed to getting good fast. That's at least my take on matters. Hopefully these technologies are going to serve you well and have a great day.